if not over, than through. Seems like a good moment to talk. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Do you think me so sheltered? My entire clutch battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. We infiltrated a Niyogi spell jammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toril's sky, Venisk. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? It's natural to suffer a touch of worry, but an illithid worm should be causing more than mild anxiety. Before the illithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. does. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Really? I'd just kill you. Anyway, get some rest. Try not to dream about tying me up. What's in here? You know, I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid, will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Good. I... Don't want you to run off just yet. You're quite the ally, after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, surviving everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. You 
of your charms more than you think. The smile on his pretty lips is a touch too composed, a bit too perfect. He may not mean a word he says. Of course. Terribly sorry. I was just going anyway. I need to clear my head. I'm sure I'll see you when I get back. Sleep tight. Moving ahead. All right, what now? Laser, have you ever done a good deed just for the sake of it? I have performed mm. deeds well and efficiently. Mm. Is this what you mean? my question. Oh, don't mind if I do. These tracks. Goblins? People up ahead. Hands of the cannon. Something's wrong. And you have a soft Can skull. You. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stares in response. Hurt badly, and Owlbear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner, new recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... you're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? 
We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Oh, I like these two. All zeal and no brains. I don't know any druids. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. You! Uh, Brenna! Kill him! Something different. This is my time. I know just what to do. It's time to push my luck again. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. For now.
room for more? Inside. I've never met anyone like you, Lisa. Yes. I've been told I'm quite scintillating. Have you really? No. at all. Oh. But I do believe in carnal pleasure. Oh. I should speak up. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. I told, I told you, you to go. go. death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Of course he will, and then we'll return home. He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. We were attacked, we're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. No, I won't leave him. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. As much love as I hold for Baldur's Gate, these frontiers delight me as much as any bustling street. You can't be serious. It's a howling wasteland. Its nest must be nearby. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. Looks like a shrine to Saluna over there.
prayer sheet. What's the symbol on it? Unlocked. My prayers are answered. Salunite coming of age rituals. Seems like a serious undertaking. Dangerous, even. quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. It's a splinter. I've gutted bigger threats than you with worse. A fight? You'd be a plaything. Not worth the trouble. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Be on my way. <clears throat> What's hiding here? Open up. Shouldn't have made me your own. No holding back.
worth the cost. looks from you to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. The cub has a fighting chance now. That, or we've just prolonged its misery. I've got a long road ahead. Oh, that should more than suffice. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Breathe deep and move. More owlbear eggs. Already hatched. No point in taking these. Seems simple enough. You find well, but you're so efficient. Why not have a little fun? Fun? I fight to win, not to make spectacles. Hey, what a way. Frontiers, hmm? Do you always need to be the center of attention? Anything but. I don't fight to be flattered, Lazo. I fight to save lives. Need anything else? Always happy to help those who follow the first circle. Sylvanas be with you. On my way.
anything of use? Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. Something good here, I hope. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? There, on the rooftops, fresh blood awaits. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not a chance I'll fit in there. Weapon blueprints. I do miss the game. Master Blacksmith, the Elf Song Tavern, Sunset Over Grey Harbor, Fried Simple Fish in the Ducks. Simple design. Drunk young oh, patriarchs naked in the fountains. Oh. Oh, on my way. Well, hello. Let's pray. Just another crate. like a saloonite necklace. Fate 
brave as the fearless. Worth a try. Let's go. Refrain from detailing my conquests, lest you die of embarrassment. <laughs> Seems willing to speak, but not to its killer. My eyes grow heavy. Best to make it. in here light on my feet what's inside maybe I need more pockets Just another crate. What to do? My like it's will be done. A feast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. You yank the dagger free, leaving a narrow slit behind. Open up. I need to find a way forward. Let's have a look.
I need a quick word. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. to have a word. Need anything else? Always happy to help those who follow the first circle. Sylvanas be with you. sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you, I, I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. 
If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Master. Friend. I stayed with him until... until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Morning. I hope last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. Oh, I have no idea. By rights, I should be cinders in this light, but someone or something is keeping me alive. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us? So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. Fine. As long as he keeps his fangs off our necks. He's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. I'd just better not wake with any holes in my neck. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Yes? Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now... I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me. 
body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know, Cazador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. They're obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. How can I help? We all have our burdens, one way or the other. Well met. Speak. Something the matter? 